Alrighty, let's play this in full first. What is it you want, Barry? What do you want? You you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. What? All what right, so let's check this out. Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit because you gave me a super widescreen version and I need to be able to see stuff. So I just zoomed in. It's kind of, I think, pretty much the same framing that we had before. So since this is uh, more advanced, I'm going to some nitty gritty details. What is it you want, Barry? And I think the main impression is that the, the lip sync and the jaw action could just be pushed a bit more. I think other than that, if you watch this. What is it you want, Barry? What do you want? You, you want the moon? I think this, we could ease into this a bit more, overshoot a tiny bit more. Not through here, I see stuff going on and coming back, but it's the arm controller that I would, like once, see the couple of things here. As you go out through here, and I should start from the beginning, but this is the one that, that stood out, is that you, it seems like you have an IK arm. So you're here, and then it goes out towards us. Now, and, and this could be FK as well, doesn't matter, but at this point, that hand comes towards us, so there's not that much of a perspective change. You don't quite know what's going on. And then suddenly you have this move that seems to be massive on the linear key as opposed to a little bit of an ease out to telegraph where we're going. And then you have those two big moves. And after that, you can see how that wrist is pretty much in the same spot. And it comes out towards us. Now, there's still movement in here. There's still movement in here. There's still movement in here. But with that wrist going from stationary here to popping over two frames and then staying here, that seems a bit harsh to me. But the moon? So a little bit more visually in screen space going down for an ease in and ease out of that pose there. Just a bit more, I think, would work. Just the first impression was that it was a bit too snappy. You want the moon? Just a bit. And it's only just in this area because there's some other stuff that feels squishier and nice and you're overshooting and I can see it in the head here too. The moon? That all works. It was just that moment that felt a bit weird. But then, and this goes back into some IK stuff, I'll get to the technical things a bit later. But then when I look at the lip sync... Just say the word and I'll... Just say the word and I'll... It just seems very slow and a bit off and a bit too soft. Just say the... Just say the word. Just say the word and I'll... Just say the word and I'll... I'm not seeing how you do... Hold on. Sometimes the scrubbing is not super great, but... And I say not so great, but sometimes, you know, depending on the program and the computer and delays and stuff, it's always kind of like a frame or two, you get late or something. So I'm always a bit worried about um, lip sync critiques here. But it feels like say the word needs to be a bit more distinct. Just say the word. Just say the word. Because he's, you know, he's pretty upset there. Just say the word. And I don't feel like you're saying the word, especially word. Say the word and I'll throw a lasso around. And I'll throw a lasso. Word and I'll throw a lasso around. I'll throw a lasso. This is more like he's going ra, ra. I'll throw. A As opposed to throw a lasso, a lasso. For me, lasso, I go out in my corners. Lasso. Throw a lasso around and pull it down. Lasso around and pull it down. And then the pull, even though we have a big move this way, with that and the head and everything, I think I would just push the. Around and pull it. Down. The pull. Around and pull it down. The pull happens during this, and I wonder if you could push where either you have a little bit of an up or a little bit of a down with the head, or a bit of a sideways with a sideways tilt, like a little bit in Y and a little bit in whatever your rotations are, uh, seems like X, but um, a little bit of an accent on pull. Run, pull it down. Run, pull it down. Run, pull it down. The down is on that curve, which is good. Um, it just seems soft there, and even at the beginning. What is it you want, Barry? What is it you want? What is it you want? What is it you want, Barry? What is it you want, Barry? Even though Barry has a head down, it just seems all in one axis. I would make this a bit more complex. What is it you What is it you want? What is it you want? Even though the what is it, I feel like we could have a bit more of a sideways or a, a stronger. Maybe the jaw comes out a bit to the side with a slight curve. I feel like it's a bit harsher. What is it you want, Barry? 
There is a bit of movement in the Y, but then it's, it's just mostly up and down. It's a little bit there, but it just feels like there's a, a visual just up and down. On Mary? 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 Like a little bit of a, a curvature in there. Mary? What do you want? This is okay, because here the voice goes down. What do you want? And I don't mind this one. What do you want? What do you want? But even then, what do you want? Could be what do you want with a little bit of a sideways. Again, if you track the nose, I'm not saying the nose has to do all those crazy curvatures, but it's a bit more a bit more complexity instead of down, a bit of a down over. Just a bit. You can always go big and then scale it down later. What do you want? You you want the moon? You you want but yeah, here we go back to the the snappiness, and it's mostly when you have that wrist. It kind of stays locked through there. I know it goes up a bit, but it feels locked because, A, because you have so much elbow movement. And then we lock, but then this continues pretty big. It seems like you want to just ease into that a bit more. You, you want the moon? Because other things don't snap as much. It just seems like that arm just kind of stands out a bit. You, you want the moon? And how that elbow really snaps up there. You, you want the moon? You, you want the moon? To me, I would snap less here and have more in the chest and the head because he goes. You, 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 you. To me, this the you, you is kind of a head bob, a little bit of a head, a chest um, accent there because of this the stuttering and him finding the words. You, you want the moon? I almost feel like you want to see and feel this more in here versus here. You want the moon? And that's fine, except what I mentioned here in the wrist. Moon. But if you go back to the beginning, uh, things that I would pay attention to is now that we're getting into all those details. Uh, it's just finger um, finger transitions and some arcs and things. So, what is it you want? Like for instance, how this remote goes up. It goes up, and I can you can track that tip here. It just seems like it just goes up like this, holds, and it goes back down. So, so it's a little bit of a wider arc, and then kind of down like that. What is it you want? And I think you can go up. Oh, what is it? What do you want? Like, you know, you have a little bit of up, over shoe, and then back down. It's a little bit more, again, subtle, but a bit more in your arcs. And again, it's a bit more flourish. And it's tiny. It just seems like it goes up, holds, and down. And I feel like you want to go, you can go, what, do you, what does it want? A little bit of a, almost a moving hold into a curvature like this and a drop. So just tiny little details. What is it you want? Also, he tenses up a little bit, right? What is it you want? What is it that you want? So I would have, you could have that thumb a bit more relaxed, maybe one finger a bit higher. What is it? And what is it that you want? You can tighten these a bit more so that thumb could be a bit tighter. It's a bit of a finger change. Go on, Barry. And then here too, because as you go up now, abs will tighten, muscles will fire here. Everything will fire and he's going to change his, his position. And I would, again, maybe change the grip a tiny bit, a little bit of a finger change there. How he gets up is fine. I see a bit of a Mary? bit of a, a wiggle there, a bit too much. Boop, boop. Soften the, that knee a bit. On that turn, you could go a little bit pivoting off of here with a little bit of a roll on the side of that shoe there. And even this, as you go down and then it finishes the lean, it could pivot off of here with this going a bit to here. A little bit of a, an adjustment in the foot. What do you want? You, you and especially here. Now that he has that big move and we see the fingers out like this, like two frames earlier, I would I would tighten them a bit more into this. You want the moon? And then I don't know if you can fit it because it's so fast, but even this would have a bit of a change. And definitely a, a grip, a stronger grip here because he's so mad now. Just say And then he can relax again. I like that you have this here. You can say the Seems like you have it a little bit on the remote, which is cool. Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it. Say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. That handoff could also have a bit of a, a, a change in your fingers right before that. You know, the pinky could come up maybe first. That gripping could have this. Maybe the index is out and then the index finishes that grip. Something that's a plane going by her. <laughs> I don't know if you hear this. Uh, even this could have a bit of a grip change towards the ends. Watch out, there's intersections through there. That's fine there. There's a little stuff like that, like I said, on the feet and on the on the fingers. What is it you want, man? Some arcs right. there. 
might want a little bit, I don't know if it's going to be too much, but a little bit of movement in that chest here. I don't know if you want to rotate this in Y, if you have kind of controllers, potentially pushing the shoulders, shoulders a bit more, but I see stuff here. You know, where I see the shoulder going down a bit, but then, and I, I was kind of a stickler when an arm moves, that it should fan out, that influence should fan out in terms of how that arm is going to affect the rest. And I think a little bit of a, a visual change of that, that chest muscle right there. Go back a bit. Uh, could be interesting. Move it in Y. You can try it out just a bit more. Alright, it seems like that elbow stays put there because he's pushing off a bit. That means it's going to be tensing there. You could change the fingers a little bit. If I look at this hand, the fingers don't really move at all. So a little bit of a post change to indicate the tension. Be cool. What is it you want, Barry? What do you want? You you want the moon? Especially on this. Whoop! Then I would also have a little bit of a again a rotation pivoting off of here on both of these guys. You have the foot going back, that works, but on something like this, it feels like a very straight line. So during this, not that you want like a crazy arc, but just a little bit of an arc, but also a change in rotation. So that foot can come back and potentially go a bit more in. And then on this, go a bit more in again. Not that you want them parallel, but you know, there's also something about this being foot out, slightly relaxed, and then as you go in into like, what? You can bring in his knees a little bit and the feet a bit straighter, just so that everything is a bit straighter, a bit more tense. And then when you go back into this, you would relax, you know, on all of this. You might have a little bit of foot change, but you have a foot change here again. And at least here, you can see again how it just goes back in a straight line. This goes forward in a straight line. This will be your opportunity for a little bit of a sideways roll, a change in rotation, so that we're back to a spread out pose meaning a bit more relaxed so i would play around with that a bit more here's a, the other here's the bigger thing here that you can see this how the wrist kind of goes only in this direction nothing else but i see a lot of movement in that elbow if the elbow will go up to me that wrist will come down a bit this seems like an ik arm and there's something more here you can see this here how the chest goes back but that move is pretty much in this line only and you can see how that arm goes from a bends to a much bigger um, straightening but if that happens if you look at the alignment of forearm and wrist if you go back it's always kind of the same not that you have to be fully fk and have that wrist like this but i would still rotate that wrist down a bit so that there is an influence of that arm straightening. Otherwise, again, it looks like this dislocated IK arm. The word, and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. I think I'll leave it at that now. You might even have a little bit of asymmetry in your eyebrows. Go on, Barry. The overall facial symmetry would be good. What? You. you what? Those eyebrows could have maybe a frame or two of an ease in. They kind of. A linear pop into the face. Stay put there. What? You and even if you if you have that frown going down, it's it's quite a bit. You can even super subtly bring that head down, maybe tensing up the the face a bit more, the lips together. You you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll. And again, some asymmetry as you go back, potentially in you know that overall mouth could be maybe a bit more to the side, just a little bit. Again, I'm exaggerating here, but. A bit more asymmetry. Word and I'll throw a lasso around and pull it down. And I'll throw a lasso around. Yeah, the big thing is also lasso. Like I said before, where the words don't really say lasso, but also imagine the heck was lasso. Like the heck can go up a bit and a bit down on the O. And I'll throw a lasso. I think what I would do is really exaggerate and, and do your head accents according to the sounds. And then it will sound look a bit too on the nose where the head is really mimicking each word as each sounds. But then you can start scaling down and kind of deciding when do I want to keep bigger assets, uh, assets, um, accents. But right now it just seems all a bit too soft. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. Some picky picky notes because the shot is getting better, better and better. Um, and I'm sure you can handle it because you're a good animator. I don't have, I don't have any problems giving you detailed notes, so I'll leave it at that. Thank you. All right. 
There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.